I'm Carolyn Rochester. I work for Sodexo Food Services, and we are at Queen Anne's County High School in the cafeteria. Hi, I'm Margaret Ellen Kalmanovich. I'm Supervisor of Transportation and Food Service for Queen Anne's County Public Schools. Sodexo and the Board of Education of Queen Anne's County um, put together a program and menus and all that for the students to be able to have something to eat. Anyone can come. These are all considered open sites according to the uh, USDA requirements and with MSD. Open sites means any child from 2 to 18 can come and get a meal, but they have to be present and for us to see them in the car in order to give it to them. In the bag, they're going to get a breakfast, they're going to get a lunch, a dinner, and a snack. So who's available to get this? Um, any student can get it. They have to come and get it themselves. Their parent can't come and get it. They have to come be with the parent to pick it up. With school being um, closed, we wanted to make sure we filled the gap uh, for students to have meals um, wherever we could. We started with three sites, which began at uh, Graysonville Elementary School, Queen Anne's County High School, and Sudlersville Middle School. And then from that point, we started looking at satellite sites. Uh, how come more sites just can't be put into place wherever you want? There are strict guidelines with um, where in the poverty areas that we have to concentrate on with USDA and MSDE to meet the requirements for an open site. So um, at this point in time, uh, as far as the federal government is concerned, those particular areas don't meet the criteria for an open site for people to come and pick up the meals and anyone have it from ages 2 to 18. We continue to ask questions of uh, the representatives in the Food and Nutrition Department at USDA to see if there's any changes. Um, they're continuing to ask for waivers uh, to USDA. And things have been you know, changing along the way. So we're hoping you know, that things may open up more. Is there anything that you need help with, volunteers, or anything that you'd like a, a call out for? At this point, we have a number of volunteers who have already um, called, you even have some on a waiting list. At first, we were just dealing with the past two weeks. So now we're looking at, as of today, an extended period of time. So it's possible that we may need additional um, volunteers to help us during that period. Without the volunteers uh, to begin with, it certainly has allowed the food service staff to be able to be doing their job. When we first started out, they were preparing and coming out and handing it out. So now they're needed in the kitchens to continue making meals as the counts continue to grow. And uh, so certainly the food service staff has been just uh, wonderful, you know, showing up and uh, preparing the meals every day. There's three or four at each site right now. Three at Graysonville Elementary. There's five at Sutherlandsville Middle School because we have two satellite sites. It wouldn't work, you know, without them doing that to begin with. And then all the people that are helping to get the word out so uh, the families know, you know, where to go. Uh, for this. Uh, all the people on staff that are driving the buses, um, the um, county ride helping us out, all of those day to day. And they're looking at the sites, giving us information so we can tweak things and, you know, try to make uh, whatever we have even work a little bit better. Until you're out there with it, you don't n know just from day to day things change. And each time you add a site, it's certainly um, a challenge figuring up how many meals to prepare to um, that you're not wasting any more than what you have to. So we just found out that the uh, program might be needed longer. Is that something that we're going to sustain? Yes, we're going to do everything in our power to uh, sustain it. And how long will you be doing this? We, until the governor says we don't have to. <laughs>